Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. I trusted you. And you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow, that's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? It was a mistake. Yeah, I get it. You just tripped and fell into my bed. Then this should be easy for you to understand. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Mm. 
something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Well, it's been fun. See you around? Maybe. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. How the hell? Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon, broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. see a connection here.
These weren't scattered by the same event. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arkham. But she knocked it aside. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Alfred. Butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. Worrying isn't going to help Alfred. We need to focus. You're right. Let's get started. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rotten 
Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. A corner store? That seems unlikely. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually, one of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This ends tonight. Heading into the basement. Be careful. No one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the Veils were hiding. There's a small room. with a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. The 
I'm going inside. fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. Alfred's glasses. One piece apart from the others. Blue. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Fleeing from something. Is that Arkham Asylum? He left me a message using this chalk, but there must be more to it. have been highlighted. She will liberate. Chalk. 
He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates, like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she will, and liberate. She will liberate? I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise.